The Lakers are already uh, making a making a move. They're looking at bringing over Dennis Schroeder from OKC. We saw he was a six man of the year candidate last year. Had a great season. And they're gonna send uh, Danny Green in their first round draft pick, twenty eight overall pick in the draft to OKC. They got a lot of picks. OKC, I think, got like twenty five picks in the next five years. <laughs> Yeah, they've got a lot of picks. Uh, shout out to Sam Presti because he's he's actually done a really good job of trying to rebuild this while staying competitive. They were the fifth seed in the West last year. Um, I, I, I got to say, though, I love the trade for Lakers. The moment I heard the rumor, I thought this was a great pickup for them. He's on the last year of his deal, so more than likely this is just an opportunity for him to boost his value before he gets free agency next summer. But the Lakers need another playmaker. They want to alleviate some of the pressure on LeBron, especially early in games. Late in games, we know the last six to eight minutes is going to be about LeBron and AD anyway. But early in games, you don't want LeBron handling the ball as much as he had to this past year. So you get a guy like Schroeder, like you said, who was a six-man candidate, experienced scorer, experienced facilitator. I think he's going to fit right in with those guys. I think it's a great move for the Lakers. And it's a win on both ends for them because they stopped the Clippers from getting them. who the Clippers have actively said they need a point guard. So now that's one less guy that's on the market for the Clippers. I want to see, though, if the Lakers will bring back Rondo or if this move was in anticipation of Rondo maybe just demanding uh, a higher salary than they can afford to give him. Yeah, because he, he did opt out. Um, and I know he does he, he does want to, to stay with the Lakers. However, he does want to test free agency. And, that, you know, from based off of what he did last last year in the – well, not last year, this, Last, uh, I guess, month and a half in the playoffs, you know, he got a lot of interest uh, uh, drawn, a lot of new interest because people kind of forgot about about Rondo because dealing with the injuries. But we saw playoff Rondo emerge from literally from the day he came back from injury in the in the second round. We saw playoff Rondo, and um, there's several teams that's interested in him. I hope he comes back and and, and resigns with the Lakers and they try to re up it and get get one more in. But I'm not mad at him if some team is going to offer him the mid level or something like that, or maybe even more. He can be possible he can get get more out of some teams. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad at him. He's already established. He's got two rings now. Um, if he wasn't a Hall of Famer prior to winning this last championship, he's definitely one now. I mean, I had him. I I, I think that he he's done enough either way. Um, but definitely two rings solidifies that, and he put in work for both of those rings. You know what I'm saying? It's not even like he was lingering on on this one. No, he actually put in a lot of work. He's probably their third or fourth best player throughout the throughout this playoff run, to be honest with you. So I'm not mad at him if he if he does go after a big contract as much as I would want him to. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real 